Hey guys, the objective of this video is to show you the process on how to solve this differential equation. So first of all, we change it into its characteristic form. So we have m squared plus 4 equals 0. All we did here was look at the magnitude of the derivative. So here we have the, the derivative to the second power. So we have a squared. And over here we have no derivatives, so we just ignore it. And this is our characteristic equation. So if we solve this, we get m squared equals to negative 4. Therefore m equals to the plus minus square root of negative 4. And as you know, the square root of 4 is 2. And the square root of negative 1 is i. So we actually have a complex root in this differential equation. So in this case, our m is 0 plus 2i and 0 minus 2i. So as you can see, our alpha is 0, and our beta is 2. And I recommend you just memorize these general solutions. They're not, they're not too difficult, it's just, they just change by a bit for each case. So since we have complex roots, our general solution is y equals e raised to the power of alpha x. Our alpha in this case is 0, but I'll still write it down just to show you guys. Some constant cosine of beta, beta is 2, so 2x plus our second constant, sine of 2x. So if we simplify this down, e to the power of 0 is just 1, so we ignore it. We have c1 cosine 2x plus c2 sine of 2x. And this is the answer to our question.